Good morning and welcome to the press conference on the film Close by Lucas Dont in competition here in Cannes this year. I'm very pleased to introduce the cast. I'll start at the far end of the table, the brother of the uh, director, Michel Dont, who is the producer. On my left, he already, already co-writ girl. girl. He's also an actor in the film. The co-writer, Angelo Tijsons. Now we can move on to the actors. Nathalie, the mother of Leo in 2019, she got a Caesar. Lea Drucker. As Sophie, Rémy's mother, she was nominated for the Caesars five times in 2021. She was also nominated in Cannes. She got the Best Actress Award for Rosetta in uh, 1999. Emily uh, Duquesne. Now, two exceptional actors we've discovered uh, for the first time in the role of Rémy, Gustave de Waal. And as Leo, Eden Dombrin. In 2018, in Cannes, he presented his first film, *The Extraordinary Girl*, and he nearly got and he got the Caméra d'Or, and it obtained a queer pom. The protagonist, uh, Victor Paul Stern, got uh, the Best Actor award in a certain regard. We have uh, with us the director and co-script writer Lucas Dont. Lucas, I'll get the ball rolling by asking you a first question. I imagine after the extraordinary lightning success of Girl, you have lots of uh, uh, projects uh, for superheroes. How did you find this project close? Well, Girl, as you say, was uh, a beautiful experience for us. And for me, it was the very first sign I did things. First film, first uh, welcome. It was the first time in many respects. So I made the most of this experience. I traveled uh, around the world with the film. And afterwards, I had to get back to uh, the blank page before me, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had all sorts of proposals, of course, but at the same time, I had uh, a lot of doubts. I was racked by doubts, uh, much more so than with Girl. Girl was based on intuition. It was the very first time I just forged ahead without really knowing what a, a film can do. In this case, I was much more aware of myself and how other people looked at me. It therefore took me quite some time to understand exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something with the same intensity, with the same passion in terms of girl. That was very important. And I began to write uh, down all sorts of different ideas. As Angelo will no doubt say, I was wrecked by doubts. And I returned to my primary school one day in the village where my mother lives. I took a long walk, I visited the school, and I don't know why, it was just because uh, after Girl, I wanted to remember the child I was, because it's probably for the sake of that child that I make my films. I went on a walk with my mother and I said, Mom, I really don't know what I should do now. She said to me, 
avec beaucoup de With great confidence and trust, she said, well, I'm sure that you actually know what you should do now. Et après, je, voilà. Ça, le début de and that was, début that was the beginning. That was the beginning of a new film, a, which I think has remained very faithful to what I want to be as a director humain. and as a person. Et, um, et important pour moi de faire it was important film. for me to make a film pour moi parce like que this. Que it was film, important because I have the impression that I couldn't have made this film as my first film. I was very much aware of the fact that it was a second film. Now I'd like to put the question to the two young actors, these two young boys. How did it come about that you started to work on this film? And how was the idea introduced to you? Well, for me, it was not like Eden. One of Lucas's good friends, Oliver. Was in charge of casting, and he suggested that I come. I'd uh, done a, a training session as I attend theater school. I thought, why not? I'll be able to see what it's all about, whether I really like the profession or not. That's how I also met Eden. And things uh, worked, uh, the chemistry was right, and here I am. Well, I was in a train uh, with some friends, and all of a sudden a man came to see me and he said, uh, are you interested in the cinema? I was rather surprised because I didn't know the person. Uh, um, I didn't know it was Lucas. It doesn't matter. So I said, well, yes, but I'm not an actor. Sure, it would be great. And he asked me whether I'd like to go for the casting of his next film. And when I told this to my friends, they were absolutely astounded because I think they were kind of jealous. I said, yes. But, um, and I went for the casting. I met Gustave. And Leah Drucker and the other actors, and, and now here I am. It's incredible. I think we'll now take some questions from journalists. A first question in the front. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Omar Franini, and I write for the Italian website, ODG Magazine. My question is for you, Lucas. When I see a movie with uh, young actors, I always wonder how a filmmaker directs these young performers. So my question is, how many indications did you give to Gustave and Eden? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, I, I think for me, making a film, um, and especially my work with actors, I think is so much in the preparation. I think I'm someone who really likes to spend a lot of time with the people that I'm going to direct. Um, I like to get to know them. I like to have Mexican dinners with them. Um, I like just to spend time so that they know me, that they know who I am, but also that I know very well who, who they are. And it's true that when you, when you work with kids, of course, there's the first um, etap that is the casting of it. And I think they both talked a little bit about their uh, experiences uh, getting into the casting, but what was so incredible with the two of them is that we spent uh, a lot of rounds of casting, and then eventually we organized one day in which we saw 12, 13, 12 or 13 kids during a full day. And you know, we didn't ask them to play a scene during 20 minutes and then stop. Actually, we let them just play and see who gravitated towards who. Because what was essential and crucial for this film is that you have a duo uh, in the lead. It's essential that you have this connection, this chemistry between two young people. And it's not something that you can force, I think. It's something that needs to be there, needs to exist. And I think during that day, we just saw how the two of them were drawn by each other and how also when then eventually we did try to play some scenes, they were really 
helping each other out. So I think first, when you work with young people who've never acted before, of course, the casting um, and the time that you spend in casting is incredibly important. And then during that preparation and we, in which we really got to know each other, I think we talked through, not, it's not that we took a moment to say, let's talk about the scenes. It was just sometimes during, between uh, singing and dancing, I would throw in like, that scene is about that. You know, it's, I think we talked about it, but in a very informal way. And then um, they also read the script. They, um, I didn't, and with young people, for me, it's important to not put too much dialogue in their mouths. I think for me, it's important that when I work with young people that they can speak like themselves. So I think that the script that they get um, is more a choreography than it is an actual film script. I think I'm not telling them, say that line there, I'm just giving them or trying to give them a lot of freedom to move and to exist on the set outside of my imagination. And that brings so much life to it. I mean, there's one thing for me writing, Leo speaks about a dream to Remy, and there's the other thing of this young boy having an Im imagination and just filling in what that means to him. And I think it's, so it's, Two things, it's about one, giving them the freedom to exist, to move and really to be. And then on the other hand, it's I'm trying to give them on set, I'm trying to give them small little elements to bring them in, in scenes that are maybe more emotional or more complicated or more nuanced. I'm trying to give them little uh, elements so that they can work with something that I direct them towards. And a lot of my direction for young people passes by the adult actors on set. Because actually I direct Leah and I direct Emily, but because I direct them differently, the boys respond different to how they behave. And um, so for me, it's, yeah, it's a very complicated uh, response, of course, because there's many different sides, I think, to directing non-professional. Like, people have never acted before. Um, yeah. Maybe I could put a question to Emily and Leah. How do you build up the character? It's uh, not just the young boys who don't have much text. You don't have much text either. So how do you build up a character in that situation? Well, Luca obviously lets the children to be themselves, but I felt the same thing with Luca, because he creates scenes of life. Even if we had a bit more details in terms of the actual text and the script, it's not that uh, we were improvising. Lucas knows exactly what he wants. Everything is carefully worked out, thanks to the rehearsals. But he creates a, a link between the actors and puts us uh, in the scene together, so we end up just being ourselves. And it's the connection we establish between the actors that enables us to be our characters because uh, we've really created a true link and connection in real life with the others. I remember one point uh, Lucas mentioned when preparing the film, after a Mexican dinner and trying out different costumes, and I returned to Paris the next day. What he said, and I kept this in mind during the uh, shooting of the film, it was the following. When you come back, I want you to love Eden. First of all, I must say that it wasn't difficult to love Eden. And this advice, well, I found when I was leaving for Paris that this was something very strange and, and odd. But uh, when I came back, I, I realized that uh, the directing, Lucas's directing, started with that very simple sentence. And it was the same throughout. You don't know when the work begins or you're, whether you're just living something. It's difficult to establish an actual difference between what you're living and what's being filmed. And I think this transpires in the film. It's very subtle. It's very delicate. 
Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Question. Next question. Thank you. Uh, I'm the journalist from Phoenix New Media from China, and I have one question for uh, two young boys. And what's the most difficult part for you to uh, interpreting your roles or understanding understanding your uh, their intentions to to make this movie? Thank you so much. Uh, can I answer in French because my English is a bit it's not so good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Well, for me, the most complicated scenes were the hockey scenes. I had six months to prepare for things. I didn't know how to play hockey at all. And so I was very careful when uh, the camera was actually rolling compared with the rehearsals. I invested heavily in the various scenes, uh, but I didn't want things to be contrived. Work was very intensive. It was just one week from Monday to Saturday when we were filming that, and I was so happy the last day that it was finished because I'd had to work so hard and invest, uh, put all my energy into things. I didn't know how to figure skate on the ice. I'd put my costumes uh, to one side, and I felt very happy. It was really complicated complicated to find the right emotions. I felt that I had really to uh, pour all my feelings into this from beginning to end. Well, for me, as Rémi is in a scene which I remember well, there's a specific scene at school in the recreation uh, area and uh, I had to let all my emotions flood out. It was a difficult scene to shoot because I never um, felt such emotions so intensely. At the time, however, what I was feeling was really real. When Eden, when he was acting too, and act, Lucas doesn't say, oh no, that wasn't good enough, we have to start again. What he wanted us to do was to really display our emotions. Oliver, Oliver was my coach, and he helped me no end to manage these emotions. It was a wonderful experience. After uh, these uh, very em emotional scenes, he then helped me to rid myself of the emotions so I didn't feel sad uh, for the rest of the day and not want to do anything. Afterwards, I was able to become joyful again and just enjoy the day. Thank you. Martin Lhomme, pour le Martin podcast, Lhomme. Euh, bravo pour ce congratulations, film. it's a magnificent et film, and Eden, congratulations on your outstanding acting. In the film, you're a character who uh, holds back his emotions, mainly through the way he looks, rather than the actual emotions themselves. How did you go about this? Well, I didn't really prepare for being Leo. As Lucas has said, he gave us the script, and we had to read it, of course. And once we'd read it, he asked us to forget the script. We couldn't uh, look at it again, because he truly wanted the film to be natural. He didn't want us to say memorized lines. After each scene, he would say, OK, we'll move on to this one. Uh, try and uh, establish a link with the right emotions. I was helped a great deal by the coach Oliver and by Lucas. And the actresses gave a lot of very good advice, Emily and Leah. So thank you very much for that as well. I come from Argentina. It's a very beautiful film. I truly loved it, Lucas, and I hope it will get an award. But you never know, of course. That's up to the jury. I never figure out uh, ahead of time who's going to win. I have a small question. With these two wonderful actresses, were the parts uh, more than uh, parts for actresses? Of course, uh, 
I know the career of Emily de Ken, for example, and Léa. What about languages in Belgium? You have Flemish and you have French. I speak uh, English and French. And I just wonder whether this language issue plays a part. I was surprised when I listened to Flemish. I could understand quite a lot of the words in Flemish, like Vogel. Léa Emily, vous voulez parler de l'accompagnement. Léa, do you want to talk about? Yes, I was uh, thinking about the language issue. I'm not sure I fully understood the question. I'll answer first. What's beautiful with uh, actresses who have already a certain amount of experience and for whom acting is a profession is the following. I think with Léa and Emily, it wasn't really a question of casting. It was just meeting other people. And uh, this is something more than just being an actress. Uh, the two actresses are people who are so very human. I met Léa when she won her award at the Caesars. I met her, and she was so gentle and so kind, so tremendously kind. I immediately thought, well, this is someone who I'd really like to work with, because I'm sure with young actors who've never been in a film before, she'll help them no end. Same thing with Emily, but that's different. Emily is someone who has started acting at a very young age just like Aidan and Gustav. So for me, she was the ideal person to help these two young boys and assist them offset, talk to them about her own experience, to give them some insights as to what it's like being a young actor acting for the first time and how it is uh, to embark on this adventure altogether. What would I like to add? It's, it's amusing, this question. You learn a lot from young actors, in fact, who have very little experience, like Gustave and Aidan. It uh, gives us huge food for thought in our own work. There's this link with the passing instant, with emotions. It's also pure. There's no technique. And that uh, disrupts uh, the way we think about things. We need to get rid of the technique in order to uh, reach out to this uh, absolute truth portrayed by Lucas in his films. It's kind of absolute truth we absolutely want to attain. So acting with Eden and Gustav is something which totally deconstructs everything we're accustomed to doing. So I love that kind of experience. I really enjoy working with very young actors. Because uh, you get back to something that is far rougher. Of course, uh, Lucas is always looking for something which is very private. You talked about a technique. That's quite correct. With Lucas, we don't really know. Well, it's hard to find the right words. Sometimes the technique enables you to keep control of the situation. But the way Lucas works and the fact that we were working with young actors means that things escape us much more. We're not in control as in the case of other kinds of films. There's so much more room for spontaneity and things totally escape us. And uh, in terms of languages, well, in fact, we did a casting call for 
children, which was very open. In other words, it was open to people who spoke only Flemish, for example, or who spoke French, or who were totally bilingual. I wanted to choose uh, the main roles uh, and then decide which language would be the main one in the film. And then these two boys are totally bilingual, so that was perfect. With Girl, it was a wonderful experience, and we found audiences in France, in the Netherlands, in Belgium, and the audiences have kept growing. What I said at the outset was that I wanted to position myself as a Belgian director. For me, that's very important. This is what makes us unique. We are a country with Flemish and with French, and that's so very interesting to work with both sides and to bring together a team of people comprising French speakers, Flemish speakers, different actors from uh, different backgrounds who aren't just uh, in a given box, either from French-speaking Belgium or Flemish-speaking Belgium. I think about things in, in a bigger way. I'm perhaps more ambitious for this reason. The film uh, comprises uh, the two languages. Question for Angelo. You said you were present at the casting. I have the impression your work isn't finished once the script is actually on paper. How do you work together? Because um, uh, we speak two languages in Belgium, I'll do it in the third one and I'll, I'll speak English. Um, I, I was I was there I was there on the on the on the magic day those two met each other and, and I am um, I'm I'm often there I, it's it's a pleasure to to work with Lucas um, because it's it's a bit like an engine that starts going and pushes everyone forward um, I think and it, it the, the nice thing both with girl and now with close is there's this massive drive to to tell a story and to talk about something and i just have to be a like a i have to bounce stuff back um and and sometimes shout that we need to go left and then lucas shouts back that we need to go right and sometimes we well mostly we go right then um <laughs> um but it's um it's a it's a very organic way of of um of working we don't sit behind a computer and type we we talk i think we that's our main job we talk and we talk again and we watch the same stuff and we read what both of us write and then we end up with enough material so lucas can make films yeah is that is that that's good, good. That's, that's a good i'm summary? happy yeah, I'll, yeah. <laughs> maybe we, maybe we should say it a little differently though no, no. <laughs> what do you want me to say lucas <laughs> change the <didn't>. okay <laughs> Thank you very much. We have a question. Serge Belech, I have two questions. We have two mother-son couples, and the fathers are not present hardly in the film. Second question, did you really need Emily, uh, Rémy's mother, uh, to be a, a nurse? She works at uh, um, a hospital. Oui, en fait, j'avais envie, j'avais yes. un désir de, de, de faire un film. I wanted uh, to make a film avec des mères et with des mothers and young boys. C'est l'inconscient. Je dois. It's je, je my honnête, unconscious, to be very voilà. honest. Uh, ma maman, c'est la raison my pour laquelle. My mother film, is uh, the reason, or it's rather cinéma. thanks to her that I can make films. Uh, c'est parce qu'elle est allée voir Titanic en She went to see Titanic uh, five times in a movie theater when I was five years old. And she constantly talked about the film. She was the first person to give me a camera at the age of 12. She was my first actress. She was in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and I always wanted to film her. I said, just say this, do that. She was my first actress. So unconsciously, I wanted to make a, a film with uh, young boys and mothers. Uh, women. Parce que c'était le désir. 
because that represented my innermost desire in terms of making films. We have these two young boys and their mothers, and they take up all the room. That's why perhaps the fathers aren't very present. Even if for me, there is a scene with Remy's father who, and I think the scene's very important. It's rare to see a man express his emotions so openly, but I wanted to see this kind of thing being done. Was it necessary for her to work uh, in a hospital? For me, this uh, came in the form of an image. I had an image in my mind of a woman I see from afar with a child in her arms. And that's how the idea occurred to me, this image of someone who wants to express something, and when he wants to express uh, something, he sees this woman with a child in her arms. It's an image. I have this kind of flashback, and I also try to follow my intuition when I'm working. I felt that this image gave me something. It was an image of hope for me. It was uh, a very beautiful image in the film. And I wanted to have a, a mother, a character, who was truly present for other people. I've met many mothers that helped me to write the part of mothers in the film. Mothers who had experienced uh, things similar to the story in the film, and it's perhaps a, a way of paying tribute to one of the women who I met. Thank you very much. I have a question for Michel. There are a lot of couples in the cinema, brothers. The only example of producer, director, uh, couples that springs to mind is the Almodovars. You produced several films before starting to work with your brother. Why this specific project? What's the specificity of your work? What, in what way do you support your brother, Lucas? Well, I've already worked. Uh, as coordinator and assistant uh, with Lucas. I talked with Derek, who was involved in Girl and Close as well. And I discussed the matter with Lucas. We talked together, and I'm extremely proud that we have been able to make this film together. We developed uh, the story together. I was there for the casting of these two young boys. And afterwards, we talked a lot together about what we wanted to do. After Girl, Lucas wanted to take up this major challenge. Whence this second film, the colors and so on. It was my job, therefore, to talk matters over with Lucas and see how we could go about things together. It was something quite organic between us. At the beginning, Dirk was very present, and now we're here. Lucas and I intend to continue to work together, at least I hope so. We've been making films together ever since we were very, very young, in fact. Our first film, which has now been digitized, I hope it will never be released, is called L'Ile de Coco, with Michiel in an amazing part in the film. He's an incredible actor. So it's very organic, our relationship. What's beautiful? is that if you work with your brother on the production side, you just know that he'll give you everything. He want, he'll want to make the best possible film with you. So it feels really good to be surrounded by people in whom you have such absolute trust. 
Et, euh, et voilà, c'est 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 super de pouvoir faire It's ça. It's great ensemble. to be able to work together. Cette image inhabituelle aussi des deux frères. It's uncustomary to see such. A Um, tenderness and uh, un mutual understanding between two brothers. Yes, tenderness, gentleness is a, a key word in the film. When I went to see films seen through the eyes of children in the history of the cinema, I've seen lots of beautiful things, the Quatre Sans Coups and others. These are real references for this film. What I said to myself, though, when I was watching these other films, I was looking for images of tenderness, gentleness between boys in terms of friendship, a relationship as though they were brothers. And it's not that uh, these features aren't there, but it's quite rare to see images of two little boys uh, in a bed, uh, very vulnerable, just lying next to each other. You much more often see men fighting in combat scenes. Similarly, in terms of brothers, I wanted to show all the tenderness, the physicality, the gentleness, because I don't think we're accustomed to seeing this kind of thing. However, it's very important in life. This gentleness, these tender feelings, that's one of the reasons, in fact, I wanted to make the film. I read something by an American psychologist who treated uh, uh, 100 boys between the age of 13 and 20, and she asked the same question to them at the age of 13, 15, 17. And at the age of 13, these boys talk about their friendship with other boys uh, like love stories, like love stories, truly. They share all their emotions, all their secrets. They count on each other. And this psychologist asked the same question at the age of 15, 16, 17. When they're a bit older, these boys lose this language permeated by emotion. They become far more masculine. And I wanted to counterbalance that. I wanted to show gentleness and tender feelings and, and the fragile nature of relationships between young boys. Unfortunately, I think time is up. Thank you very much for having come.